I think the biggest problems come when people get comfortable, and this was a procedure I was very comfortable doing, so I wasn't really thinking about as much the possible risks and how quickly something could go wrong because it's something I had done successfully many times before. And I think when it's something that you're used to doing and comfortable doing, you don't think about how quickly something can go wrong and how wrong it can really go. When I was filtering the cleaved peptide away from the resin, I was pouring it through a syringe and when I put the plunger in, my hand slipped and the solution splashed up onto my forearm. It was kind of a blur at that point. My lab mates got me under the sink. I kept my arm under running water for about 30 minutes. When it went numb immediately, I knew there was something very wrong. It didn't feel like a normal burn would. Now I know that's because all of the nerves were killed. When the doctors first told me that I may need a skin graft, I was really scared because that would be a lengthy hospitalization, things can go wrong. It was an extremely stressful uh, week of just not knowing whether I was going to go in for this fairly intensive surgery. The course of treatment, first they had to remove all of the dead skin, then get the new skin regrowing, and then I had to wear a compression sleeve for about six or more months after it seemed to be healed. Had I been working alone, there's no way I would have gotten under the faucet that quickly. I thought I was working safely. I was working behind the sash of the fume hood and I had my safety glasses on. I guess I was a little bit lucky in that it was only my arm because a similar situation could have happened where if it hits your face, then you could go blind. Unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way, but hopefully other people can take that experience and realize that they need to be wearing lab clothes, they need to be wearing safety glasses. So I think the best practice is to wear a cuff lab coat that your gloves will cover the end of so nothing can run up your arm. But even if you have a regular lab coat, oh hey, let me show you. You can put a rubber band around the end of it to prevent the same problem. And this is why you will not catch me without a lab coat.